for you, Alyssa. <laughs> Today's uh, vlog is going to be all about AJO and paying it forward. Travel all across this land, me and you. We'll end up hand in hand, somewhere down on the sand, just me and you. Just as free. Just as free, free as we'll ever be. So, sir, you ready to go run some errands and do some AJO stuff? I'm ready. I'm excited. Hope you guys are excited. So guys, today's vlog episode, like I said, is going to be about AJO since we're running errands all over town, dropping stuff off, picking stuff up. Cronk Insurance, Movement Mortgage, we gotta go to the bank, um, and we're getting ready for the 80s for AJO dance, which is March 24th. It is a blast. This is our third or fourth year, sir? This is our fourth year for the 80s for AJO dance. Everybody dresses up in their favorite 80s gear. I've been um, Elliot from ET. Uh, what else were we? Bob Ross. I was Bob Ross. That was a good one. For those of you that don't know what hashtag AJO is all about, I'm going to tell you. Um, on September 4th, 2013, our 18 year old daughter, Alyssa Josephine O'Neill, passed away from complications of a seizure. And uh, that pretty much destroyed our lives and devastated us. Um, I don't remember a whole lot of what happened or the events or occurrences around that time, but I do remember all of uh, the community in Erie coming together uh, to help us out. And uh, the day before Alyssa passed away, she had sent Sarah a text message asking if, pretty please, Sarah could take her to Starbucks to get a pumpkin spice latte because she had never had one. So of course Sarah said, absolutely. And the next morning we never got a chance, or Sarah never got a chance to take Alyssa up there to get that pumpkin spice latte. So after her funeral, we just decided to go up to Starbucks um, and buy some for everyone else. Uh, we didn't really think much of it. We went to Starbucks and we just bought like $100 worth of pumpkin spice lattes. We took a purple Sharpie and wrote hashtag AJO on them and we asked people to pay it forward um, in remembrance and honor of Alyssa and to raise awareness for epilepsy. Um, we left Starbucks that day, didn't really think anything of it, like I said, and the next couple years after that have been a whirlwind. Uh, that, that went viral. There was pay it forward movements for hashtag AJO all over the country, all over our town, and then all over the world. Sydney, Australia, Spain, I mean, Korea. It was just, it was just amazing. A heartbroken family keeps the memory of their 18-year-old daughter alive by inspiring others to honor her with random acts of kindness. 
But the O'Neill family from Erie, Pennsylvania, never expected it to turn into a worldwide movement. Alyssa Josephine O'Neill's dying wish was a simple one, a pumpkin spice latte. Unfortunately, she died before her parents could fulfill her wish. If she didn't get a chance to have one, I want someone else to enjoy it. After her funeral, her parents ordered 40 lattes from Starbucks with the hashtag AJO written on the side. They bought them for complete strangers. Employees were so moved, they chipped in for another 50 drinks. And soon the message snowballed through social media, reaching as far as Australia, with folks buying others everything from pizzas to Christmas gifts for others, all in Alyssa's honor. She was the most positive person. She made everybody smile. She was, she was fantastic. We, we really loved her. The O'Neill family has now established the AJO Forever Fund, which will help pay for epilepsy-related medical expenses. Now we're trying to continue that, preserve Alyssa's legacy, and, and help everyone else that was in our situation, in Alyssa's situation with epilepsy. Because a lot of people don't talk about it. A lot of, you might know somebody that has epilepsy and have no idea. You could have known them for 30 years and have no idea they have epilepsy until they have a seizure. It's a very scary thing, and we're trying to raise awareness and help people. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna go around and uh, we're gonna do our rounds for AJO and we might even do a few pay it forwards. Hey guys, we just finished with our first round of pay it forwards around town. Um, I won't say where we did it uh, or anything like that, but you might just get a free coffee or two today. You never know. Hey guys, I'm at Blaze Pizza and I am sitting here talking. You're the manager, right? Yeah, Glenn Connor. Glenn Connor, and it turns out it's James Connor's dad. We love James Connor. This is amazing. So uh, check back in later when we feature Blaze Pizza and show you all the awesome stuff we ate. Great job, man. Thank you Thank very you. much. Nice to meet you. Thanks for coming over. Nice to meet you. Yeah. I like pizza. So we're leaving Movement Mortgage. We're getting ready to, I think we have to go to Hobby Lobby. Then we're going to Kronk Insurance for our presentation. They know, they know, they know. Wouldn't it be great if there was a place, like I have so many hobbies, like what if there was a place to meet to have all of my, like a lobby for my, oh. And you, and you deserve, and you deserve, and you, and you deserve. Bye Hobby Lobby. So what we've got here is a little, uh, a little basket with a $200 Uber card. Uber card, a medical tracker journal to track your medications and, uh, seizure, and activity. seizure activity, and an Empatica Embrace Seizure Detection Monitor. Um, it's a nervous system monitor, an activity tracker, and a sleep tracker, and it really helps people with epilepsy have some peace of mind, and especially parents. It really helps parents have a peace of mind. We worry a lot. Hey guys, I'm out front of Kronk Insurance here on 12th Street. We're getting ready to do a special AJO presentation. Check it out. Hi, well, it's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Hello, Sarah. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Jackie. I'm Jason. Hi, it's nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet Jason. you too. Let me get the rest of the gang. Here, we won't even show you, but will you tell us what kind of puppy you got? I have a Shih Tzu. A Shih Tzu! Be careful how you say it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna beep out the first part of that dog's name. Yeah. I, I want you to be alive. You don't have to die today. You ain't gotta die. Alright guys, I love this song. I like Logic, I really love this song. And I find myself singing along to it all, all the time. But the very beginning of the song, when he says, I just want to die today, every time I'm singing along and he's like, I just want to die, and I'm like, no, no you don't. No, 
you don't. You want to live. And then the song gets better towards the end. So we have been running around town all day doing AJO errands and it was fun, but I think it's about time for us to leave you until tomorrow. Sarah, you want to do the honors? No, not that part. You have to tell them it's the end of the vlog. Oh, it's the end of the vlog.